This week in West Virginia, the House of Delegates voted to indefinitely table Senate Bill 451, leading Governor Jim Justice to encourage legislators to push through his originally proposed bill that would provide a 5% pay raise to educators and state police. I'm calling them to pass my pay raise bill, the bill that I sent up, the clean bill. Also in education, West Virginia will once again participate in the Girls Go Cyber Start competition, a program designed to encourage young ladies in grades 9 through 12 to get involved in cybersecurity. You know, it's an up and coming industry. There's jobs available, you know. We have plenty of jobs available in that field. And so if we can move more of our students into those those areas, it'll benefit the state and the students. A first-of-its-kind drug program has launched at Western Regional Jail. This was a long time in the works. In this program, those people who do not have self-control in an incarcerated drug rehab program, which we feel will help certain people get weaned off the drugs and become members of society again. If the program is successful, the goal is to incorporate a similar structure in other regional jails across the state. Those dedicated to preserving West Virginia's rich history were honored in the annual History Heroes Awards Ceremony at the Culture Center. And the remains of a World War II veteran were brought back to family members in West Virginia by the National Guard. You can find more information on these stories and many others in our West Virginia Week in Review newsletter.